everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella, and I would totally love if you join me in my YouTube adventures. Hello, hello, sweet friends. Happy Wednesday. I know you're thinking to yourself, she decorate that hutch already. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just playing around with decor. Hi, guys. How's it going? Uh, How's, it going? How's your week? Is your week off to a great start? First off, thank you for all the love. Oh my goodness, my YouTube peeps, you guys, you, 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 you all know who you are. You know, my YouTube peeps, my, my, my peeps, my, my people, my tribe. You guys are the best. Thank you for the love and support on Monday's video. I love you guys. I love you guys. Did your week start off good? What do you think? Did we declare enough? We're declaring that this is going to be the week. This is it. This is going to be the greatest week ever. I don't know why. I'm just declaring it. I'm just declaring it. I'm, I'm praying on something, y'all. I'm praying on something. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. So the title of the video. Today's a totally casual video. I barely have any makeup on. I was playing with decor again, like always. And I thought... What am I going to do for Wednesday's video? What am I going to do for today? Well, then I thought, then I went into the garage and I was talking to my dad and I was rummaging around the house and I was being kind of like, didn't know where to go. Then I thought about it. I said, oh, that's it. That giant bird case. Yes, we'll get it. I saw it in the garage and I thought to myself, yes, decorate this. How many of us bought this thing? So many of us. How hard is it to style? Quite hard. <laughs> what do you do with this thing? It's massive. Like, it's massive. And I thought to myself, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. We got to, like, repurpose our, our stuff. I know. I know out there in YouTube land, there's so many of you with this. So, so many of us that bought this from Michael's. Hobby Lobby's got a big one, too. I, I just recently saw it at Hobby Lobby, so that's new to me. But I know Michael's had it, and I know we all bought it when Michael's had it. So, you want to you wanna decorate it together? Let's do a little crafting, a little DIYing, a little, little artistic inspiration. I'll show you what you need, and let's get to okay, it. Peeps, what you're going to need? A pumpkin of your choice. Okay, I got two here, because I might use both, but I might use one. A pumpkin of your choice. And the reason why I'm using the, this pumpkin is because I found it really hard last year to style this somewhere. I know, crazy. Then you're going to need some fall leaves. These are, oh my God, these are fantastic. I'm never going to find them here again. Okay, first of all, I cut them down. I used them. I'm repurposing them. I did not buy a single thing. They are almost velvet in texture. I hope you can see it there. They're from Dollarama. I don't have that here, but that's okay. A uh, little wreath. A little wreath of your choice. It's the one I'm using. I love it. I think it's perfect. Uh, some ribbon, again, of your choice. Try to make everything coordinate. Right, but we got some cute ribbon and the giant, giant birdcage that I love, and then two of these picks. These are from Hobby Lobby. I know they still have them this year, they're amazing. They're kind of that paper flower with um corn husks in them, little white pumpkins, adorbs, adorbs, adorbs. And these pod thingies, so cute. And I think these coordinate with those pumpkins really good. So let's get to crafting. So you saw what you need. You also need wire cutters, the best ones ever from Michaels, the best, some wire, and some creativity and a lot of imagination. Okay, and a cup of coffee, iced coffee preferably because it's probably, Still hot wherever you are too. But we're all into fall. I'm gonna use my little wreath. It's a pre-made wreath. There's nothing to it. I think 
I honestly think it's from the dollar store in Canada. So I'm gonna use it because I had it in my stash. Can you believe I brought it? Okay, so what I want is the wreath to kind of poke out a little here and there. And I think we're gonna make this look super cute, kind of positioning the sunflowers upwards so you can see them. There's a little bit of berries. Okay, then you take your pumpkin and you put it in the middle. Now I wanted two, I wanted two pumpkins. I was thinking I could do two pumpkins in here, but it's not, when I tested it, I didn't think it looked very good. So we'll just stick with the one. Yeah, we'll stick with the one. We'll keep this one. Maybe we'll put it on the side of it when we style it. I, Cause I have an idea where I want to put this. Okay. Love this thing. Love, love, love this thing. But again, not the easiest thing to style, right? Because it's kind of big. <laughs> it's really big, but it is beautiful. I love the rusticness of it. Like the chippiness of it. It's my favorite thing. Okay. I have these leaves. Let me show you these leaves. These are the fall leaves I was telling you about. So what I want to do is I want to have, let me put this to the side. Please. So there's the front. Let's say that's the front. So I want to have, oopsies, these leaves going downwards. Okay. And these leaves going upwards, right? But then also kind of cascading, but going up. And I want to put my bow right here. So that's my idea. So I'm going to wire all this together. I'm going to start wiring this. We're going to do it together. Maybe, nah, I won't voice over it. We'll just do it together. Okay, let me get the wire. Bow tutorial because my bows are not like anything special. We've all discussed that. We've all heard about my bow situation already. But I do like making them. And this is a three ribbon bow. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I told you, it's one of these days. So I used the orange from the Dollar Tree. This one I had from last year. I think it's Hobby Lobby. And this one here is Hobby Lobby. And uh, it's three inches, two inches, and an inch and a half, or whatever this is, inch and a half. Yeah, there, I was right. Okay, the leaves. Remember how I said I wanted to take the leaves? Let me bring this a little forward so you can see. I might have to turn it around. Um, I want one leaf cascade, one, one thing cascading down this way, and then I want another one cascading down, but I also want it up. Does that make sense? Like I want some pieces of leaves sticking up like this. And here's the best part of this guys, because these are wired, they're so easy to like twist and get them to do what you want. So that's why I like using these. So what I'm gonna do, I think, because again, I'm not like a pro, this is not something I do, um, you know, on a regular basis. I think this will look really cute when it's done. I'm gonna wire them together. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wire them together. And let me get the other ones because I wanted to put two on each side. So two of these. So this is fun crafting together. What do you guys think? Do we like this kind of thing? Tell me in the comments down below, do you enjoy this sort of video where people show how they craft or would you rather just see the crafts done and appreciate them like that? Or do you like this sort of thing where, you know, people craft while making a video? I don't know. I mean, you guys tell me whatever you think. Look how big my, my wire is. Guys. This was only 50 cents more at Michael's than the other one. I mean, this is a great buy. I don't know why you would buy the little one. Might as well buy this one. It's only $2.99. Okay, I'm gonna start um, wiring these together and I'll show you. Maybe I'll turn this around and show you what I'm doing back here. 
because I think the ribbon's kind of distracting. See what I'm doing? I've kind of placed it in there and I'm kind of trying to get them to be symmetrical. Okay, so then I got this one now. Now I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. All right, so I got them in and I just cut myself a piece of wire, you know, kind of big, kind of small, not really. And I'm just gonna wire this side together so it stays together. And then I'm gonna wire the other side. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's so simple, guys, this is so simple. I mean, I, I have seen really, really elaborate um, like designs on florals like this. There's a lot of YouTubers like Miss Arlene from Arlene's Crafty uh, Country Craft Corner. She does amazing like floral design with um, florals and stuff like that. And I, I'm always in awe when I see her stuff. And so many others, so, so many others. Ooh, I kind of like this, what just happened here. Okay, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. This is a Chatty Cathy kind of video. I like how the, the foliage, uh, the leaf foliage went within the um, thing. Okay, then you have this. These are two picks from Hobby Lobby. These are beautiful. Let me just tell you, if you just took this pick, and literally fluffed it out, stuck it in a vase, a couple of them, you have a beautiful floral, neutral fall floral arrangement. I mean, that's how beautiful this pick is. It's actually a really beautiful pick. But I'm gonna hook them. I'm gonna hook it to the top of this. And again, I want one going one way, and best part, everything's wired. So, you know, when things are wired, you can move them around. So I'm gonna hook this to this side, and then I'm gonna hook the other one to the other side, and we're gonna fluff it out together. And I, then I think we're pretty much done. And wait till you see where I'm gonna put this, because that's gonna be the best part when I, when I style this. But we're not gonna do that today, because then this video is gonna be just like extremely, extremely long. Okay, so I hooked the one. So now what I wanna do, is intertwine it with my leaves you see so here's my leaves i hope you guys can see this can you see what i'm doing here honestly guys i'm just styling it that's all just to make it look fuller and then you got your bits of pumpkin sticking out you got all this different texture and all these things it's gonna look so pretty and you can have some of that sitting up and kind of wild, you know, because nature's kind of wild, like me. <laughs> no, I used to be. Ooh, boy, was I ever. That's my mother. <laughs> I was one of those wild, wild children. You know, I, I needed to be challenged. I think that I think that that's it, truly. I needed to be challenged. I was a very, very good student in school, but boy, oh boy, did I like to you know, test my parents' patience. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And they, they were good sports about it. My parents were amazing, amazing, amazing. They were really good sports. So there, so I, I like this. It's very natural. It looks good. The pumpkins are all sticking out. And I love this pick because like I said, it really ties into the pumpkin that we have inside the birdcage. And I mean, how cute. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And again, you just make a hook and put it around here because maybe this year you wanna use it for this, but maybe next year, or, or if you're like me, if you're like me, you may change your mind. And this might not even make it in the decor this year, but I think it will, I think it will. I have a really great idea for it. I have a really great idea for it. And I really wanted to style this birdcage. I thought, you know, everybody has one of these. So I thought that would be a great idea. Okay, let me put this in here. And I hope you don't, you all don't mind my babbling today, but I, I really like this kind of chit chatting, talking, crafting at the same time. It's kind of fun, right? Kind of fun. Okay, 
Then again, you're gonna, like it looks like a mess right now, right? Like, look at that, it looks terrible. But look at this side, that side looks beautiful. So, and I'm doing this away from you, just so I can see what I'm doing, because if I don't, I'm gonna make a big mess. I'm just taking it and intertwining it in my leaves. So I'm like, let me see if I can show you. I'm taking my leaf and I'm wrapping this stuff in the leaf. Does that make sense? That does make sense to my head. <laughs> but I hope it makes sense to you also. So that's all I'm doing. Like I'm placing it so that you can see the leaves and you can see the pumpkin and you can see everything. And let's stick some of this up in here and get some pumpkins to stick up. Let's see if we can get that one. Yeah. I, I love working with this kind of stuff. I hope you guys do too. I hope you, you find just as much inspiration in these kinds of things. But you'll have to tell me if you like this sort of video or do you rather just see it and like to music and stuff like that. Like depends, right? Because some people might like this and some people might. So we'll see what the census is. And then I might do more like this or I won't do any more like this. So we'll see. And I think I got it. I think it looks really good now. And I told you, I want it kind of wild and free and, you know, doing its thing. I think, let me see. Oh, yes, I think it turned out very, very pretty. Oh, I think it's so pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, let me take you off the tripod and show it to you. Done. And you can see all the detail and everything. And this one leaf just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Okay, there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take you off the tripod and I'll show it to you finished. So cute, so cute, so easy, so simple, so cute. Chatty Kathy video today. I'm sorry about that and the people that like it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I love you guys. I do. I really do. I know I say this all the time. I really do. But I want to know, do you like this kind of video? And and it, if there's someone out there watching that maybe is thinking, of oh, I can't do, I can't make things like that. I can't make bows. I can't make arrangements. I can't make floral. Sure you can, of course you can. Because, you know, don't be intimidated by YouTube and YouTube other people. I mean, we all have our style, we all have a way of doing things. You know, I'm not a magic bow maker. I mean, some people are on here. I'm not, I'm not. Uh, but I like it being creative and I, and I hope it gives you the the courage to be just as creative as me. You know, go go out, find what, find some picks that you have in your bins and stuff and put them together, match them with a pumpkin, match them with a ribbon, think about where you're gonna put them and come up with something adorable, just adorable. It's just adorable. It's easy, it's peasy, and it's adorable. And it's so fun to make. So, so fun to make. What else are we gonna make? We have so many things to make. Hmm. I need to make another wreath. Well, actually, I need to make a couple of other wreaths. Uh, but I need an outdoor wreath. But I want to do something with a twist again. Again, something with a twist. I got some stuff up my sleeve. I got some stuff up my sleeve. You're going to see some things change in the house because, yeah, I bought some stuff. <laughs> and you'll see some changes. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I hope you had lots of fun hanging out with me today, and I truly appreciate it. If it wasn't for you, my channel would never grow. So I truly, truly appreciate it. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you on Friday. If not, we'll see each other maybe Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Bella, Thursday, today's Wednesday. Sorry guys, Thursday maybe for a pop-up video, 
or maybe a Saturday video. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe a pop-up video. Who knows? Because I got a lot that I want to do. Anyways, have a fantastic evening, and I will catch up with you soon. Mwah. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everybody. See you Friday.